Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com, a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is 21301 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. And just a couple of changes to this around the um, on screen keyboard. So I've got my Surface laptop here, so what I'm going to do is uh, disconnect the keyboard and um, then we can try it with the uh, automatic keyboard mode and touch screen. So let's open up something to type into. So here's our uh, on-screen keyboard. And uh, one thing you can do without that now is when you switch it into the undock mode, it automatically shrinks down into this small mode. Incidentally, this is exactly the same keyboard that I've seen on Windows 10X, uh, which I've got a couple of videos of that on the DCLifestyle.com. But anyway, you can uh, easily move it around now with this. So that's quite a good idea. The other change is the small and split layout now have the symbols based on the default keyboard layout. So the um, the symbols that you have on here are based on your keyboard layout, not just sort of generic. Also, they changed the settings slightly as well to make that a bit easier to get at. Incidentally, if you've got a large device like a Surface Studio or anything with a bigger than 12-inch screen, you'll see the full keyboard rather than just this keyboard that you see here. You'll see the one with the escape buttons and the tab buttons and everything else on it. Um, but you only see that on the larger devices. The other thing they've done as well is um, the predicted words. They, As you can see on here, I'm getting quite a lot of predicted words, but they say they're clearing it to show five only. Um, now, that hasn't actually started rolling out yet, so uh, that'll be next week. So uh, at the moment, we've got um, all these predicted words, but there'll only just be five uh, on the future versions. Um, the rest of the fix it changes are fairly minor. They've made some uh, changes. When you right-click Save Files in the Jump List, you'll now have the option of um, Open File Location. Uh, let me flip my keyboard up, and we'll have a look at that. Open file location. That's quite a handy one, and it to get straight to the the folder that it's in. So that's a useful change. Um, and there's some other um, things like uh, touchpad settings no longer require admin privileges. So there's a lot of fixes with this build as well. Things around the news and interests. It doesn't take 100% CPU for some people that were getting uh, Aero Shake is back, so I should be able to uh, shake that now. And it minimizes everything and brings it back. Let me. Uh, there you go, it's shaking on there to get rid of it. Um, they fixed some DPI issues, some VPI, VPN issues, and uh, an issue with 32-bit systems losing network connectivity. They fixed that as well. There's plenty of known issues still with this build. Miracast still has uh, low frame rate, so that's Miracast is where you um, stream from one display to another display or to another PC, and you get low frame rate issues on that. Um, there's still a couple of issues with the start menu, but I haven't seen any with that. And there's still plenty of issues with the news and interest uh, taskbar item. Um, there's a whole list of those. And I've included all of them on the digitallifestyle.com. But that's it. That's all the main changes with this build. The keyboard is handy. And that open file location is actually really handy. So there you go. That's this build. That's build um, 21301 for Windows Inside on the Dev Channel. You can find out more on the digitallifestyle.com and our YouTube channel.